we have another romantic little song for you, a very gentle little song. And tonight, it is sung by a gentleman whom we don't normally associate with the tender passion. However, this is a song about blighted affection. It is entitled, quite simply, Miss Julia. And here he is to sing it for you, ladies and gentlemen, in an unaccustomed romantic mood, but nevertheless welcome to your own inimitable, incomparable, absolutely indispensable, Mr. Archie Harrogate. Have you ever been in love? If you haven't, I have. To the little god Cupid, I've been a great slave. He shot in my bosom a quiver of harrows, like naughty boys shoot at cock robins and sparrows. My heart was as pure as a white alabaster, till Cupid my bosom weak did overmaster. Then all ye gods know how I loved one Miss Julia. There was something about her so very peculiar. There was something about her so very peculiar. We met first at a ball where our hands did entwine, and I did squeege her finger, and she did squeege mine. To be my next partner, I ventured to press her, and I found that she lisped when she answered me, yes, sir. Now in lisping, I think there is something uncommon. I love in particular lisp in a woman. I'm sure you'd have liked the lisp of Miss Julia. There was something about it so very peculiar. Yes, there was something about it so very peculiar. Like a beautiful peach was the cheek of my Julia. And then in her eye there was something peculiar. Speaking volumes, it darted each glance to one's marrow, was swift and as keen as that wicked boy's arrow. A slight cast in her eye to her looks added wiggle. Now a cast in the eye often tends to disfigure, but not so the cast in the eye of my Julia. Oh, no. There was something about it so very peculiar. Yes, something about it so very peculiar. Good friends were we soon, and with smiles and with tears, I courted her nearly three or four years. I took her to plays and to balls. Oh, ye powers, how swiftly and sweetly did then pass my eyes. But once, even now I my feelings can't smother. She danced all the evening along with another. I didn't say nothing that night to Miss Julia. But I couldn't help thinking it was very peculiar. Yes. I couldn't help thinking it was very peculiar. I next day went to school, when she, to my heart's core, cut me up by requesting I'd come there no more, and I'd be affronted if longer I tarried, for next week to another she was to be married. God, Julia, said I, why you do not say so. Yes, but I do, sir. So you'd better go. Well, I will go, but you'll own it to Miss Julia. Your behavior to me has been very peculiar. Very. Very peculiar indeed, Miss. So from that day to this, I have never seen Julia. Her behavior to me was so very peculiar. Part. Let us round off the evening with one last rousing chorus of our theatre anthem, Covent Garden in the Morning! Good night.